welcome to adc and dac session so in this year we have to convert, we have to discuss analog to digital and digital to analog converters topic and this is one of the very very important topic for acet point of view and any any other computer exams point of view and academic purpose also because uh, according to the electronics point of view or analytical point of view nowadays all devices all electronic devices uses digital integrated circuits one example computer mobile phone right so all these all these are uses internally digital integrated circuits that means those those uh, devices are designed with digital ic's only so digital ic's performs the operations with digital data the digital data should be in the form of zeros and ones and some other digital representation is there but in real time application uh, available input should be analog input only for example my voice signal is there so now here i'm speaking here this voice signal is available in analog format so first uh, transducer converts the transducer is nothing but your mic so that mic converts the these voice signals into electrical signals now the electrical signals are available in the form of continuous time representation that is also called as analog format but our digital integrated circuit requires the data in the form of digital only so then we have to convert this analog information into digital so to convert analog to digital adc converters are used here so these are these are comes under data converters one form of uh, data is converted into another form like here analog form data converted into digital form so adc converters analog to digital converters so now this adc converters gives the digital data this digital data is connected to the digital integrated circuits those are processes so these processes performs the internally some operations according to the uh, uh, like applications here like digital camera it takes the videos and takes the images now i am giving all this lectures uh, everything is recording here so that is internal of digital is possible here but available a signal should be analog this analog is converted to digital then it processes the data the processing data is nothing but storing information right and some other operations like converting uh, videos to uh, audio and audio signals to video so all this representations here depends on the applications now finally this this digital ic's performs the operations and it gives the data in the form of digital only so the output of digital ic's is again digital but we can understand only analog information so now i require your video signals right now we have to see the complete lecture this complete lecture part on the video so that video is a uh, in analog so analog is required but the storing the data in memory card is in the form of digital is there again this digital data has to convert into analog so digital to analog converters are used to convert digital data into analog so now our topic name is adc and dac so here we have to discuss so what is the function of these two uh, topics like adc is one topic is there and there is dac one topic is there and how the information are how the data are converted from one form to another form and what are the general requirements like uh, what are the characteristics of adc and dac all this we have to discuss in this topic now first we'll go through the general block diagram of adc and dac here so that is nothing but digital signal processing here like uh, the available information is now analog information is there this is analog information this analog information is now i'm taking electrical signal because all the electrical and electronic equipments requires electrical signals only so these electrical signals connected to the first stage is adc is there analog to digital converters which converts the analog information into digital now the data is in digital format here so the data is in digital format mean this should be in binary format now binary or sometimes we can take some other form of digital some other form of digital so now this uh, if it is follows the uh, binary in binary it takes the n bit representation so in binary representation using n bits the range of the data is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 this is the maximum data this is 
the maximum data and this gives the minimum data. So minimum is 0 and maximum is 2 power n minus 1. So this is general representation and binary representation. And the total possible combinations are 2 power n combinations are there. So whatever the analog information is here, this analog information is directly converted into digital now. So digital it has number of bits are there. Now it is connected to the digital signal processing that is DSP processor. This DSP processor internally performs some operation like mobile phone. First it takes the voice signals, then it converts into digital, then it performs some operations, some modulation techniques and all this here. Later the response of this one is also in the form of digital now. So after processing the available result is again digital. Digital is nothing but again binary format. Now this digital data is con connected to one more block here. That block is called DAC, digital to analog converters. Because here according to the our required voltage is analog voltage. So we can understand analog data. So again this digital data converted into analog using DAC, digital to analog converters. So now in this topic here we have to discuss so what is the function of ADC and what is the function of DAC? What are the general requirements? That means what are the characteristics of uh, ADC and uh, DAC? Then how many types are there? So how many types and each type operation, how it converts the one form of data into another form? That part we have to discuss in this topic here. So after now we discuss the resolution, then analog output. Another characteristic of digital to analog converter is analog output. So if any digital input is connected, any digital input is connected to the DAC converter, then how much voltage is explained, uh, how, how much voltage it gives here. So that part we have to discuss in this analog output voltage. So that analog output voltage, the standard formula explains here, resolution into, resolution into decimal equivalent of binary, decimal equivalent of binary. See resolution into decimal equivalent of binary. So resolution just now we discussed uh, V R by 2 power n minus 1 into decimal equivalent of binary. So this is right as it is here. Depends on the digital data. So according to the input voltages then we have to write here resolution and decimal equivalent of that. Then directly it gives the analog output. So for this here I am taking one example. This example is Now see here one example I wrote here, a 4-bit DAC, 4-bit digital to analog converter, reference voltage is 10 volts and the binary input is a 1100, then the analog output is here, okay. So here we have to find out analog output to find the parameters, so just right here, given data is N is 4, according to the given uh, problem, here 4-bit DAC is there, N is equal to 4. If n is equal to 4 and reference voltage is 10 ohms is there, 10 ohms and the digital data is here 111, 1100. So 1100 this is in binary format, the equivalent decimal number is, this is uh, 1, 2, 4 and the 8. Now 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is here 12, this is in the form of decimal. So 1100 binary format is equivalent to the decimal representation is 12. Then analog output, the standard formula is this one. Resolution into decimal equivalent of binary. So analog output is equal to. Resolution is reference voltage by 2 power n minus 1. So 2 power n minus 1 into decimal equivalent of binary is 12 here. So now directly it gives the 2 by 3 because this is 15. 2 by 3 into 12. Then, so then directly it gives the voltage is 8 volts. 
because here 3 and 3 4 is 12 so 4 into 2 is 8 ohms with this digital input the possible analog output voltage is 8 ohms here okay with this combination 1100 then the possible analog output voltage is 8 ohms with the reference voltage is 10 ohms is there so and we can write here sometimes a full scale output voltage so what is a full scale output voltage reference voltage then directly increase the 10 ohms and if you want to find out from this full scale output voltage these are the simple equations simple formulas full scale output voltage is reference voltage that is 10 ohms this is 10 ohms and uh, analog output voltage is resolution into decimal equivalent of the binary so write here decimal equivalent number and resolution then write the answer directly so these type of problems are expected in objective point of view right and this is previous a set question this is previous easy question directly I wrote here and this is comes under one of the characteristics of DAC converters digital to NLR converters now another characteristic is here full scale output voltage just now I wrote there full scale output voltage full scale output voltage means the maximum possible output voltage of DAC converter so when it gives the maximum possible output voltage if the input should be maximum input now using distal here yeah, distal input is there using distal data the maximum possible input is 2 power n minus 1 so 2 power n minus 1 is nothing but using n bit representation so full scale output only is the standard formula explains resolution because this is also analog output this analog output is equal to resolution into decimal equivalent of the binary that binary we have to take here maximum combination that maximum combination is 2 power n minus 1 and the resolution formula is VR by 2 power n minus 1 into 2 power n minus 1 then directly it gives the reference voltage. So full scale output voltage of DAC is reference voltage that I wrote directly here. Full scale output voltage is reference voltage. So full scale output voltage is here according to the given problem this becomes here 10 ohms. These are the simple questions are expected these type of questions from this type uh, from this topic here and another characteristics from this here so what is resolution and analog output another is the full scale output voltage then one more is there percentage of resolution percentage of resolution to find the percentage of any representation generally we have to write gained gained values by total values into 100 so now I want to write here percentage of resolution that's why I'm writing resolution by total output means possible output is full scale output voltage into 100 so your resolution is VR by 2 power n minus 1 by full scale output voltage full scale output voltage is reference voltage into 100 so VR VR get cancelled then directly which explains the percentage of resolution the standard formula is 1 by 2 power n minus 1 into 100 this is another standard formula here so general characteristics of digital to analog converters DAC converters are these are the characteristics one is called resolution and analog output analog output voltage is a resolution into decimal equivalent of binary the standard formula is VR by 2 power n minus 1 and full scale output voltage is the reference voltage and percentage of resolution is 1 by 2 power n minus 1 into 100 so these are the characteristics of digital to analog converters now an example on this here full scale output voltage full scale output voltage is 1.023 a 10 bit DAC 10 bit DAC full scale output voltage is 1.023 volts then the resolution of the circuit is so here we have to find out resolution of DAC converter so just now we discussed the resolution of DAC is general formula reference voltage by 2 power n minus 1 and according to the given problem n is 10 is there number of bits are 10 bits and just now we discussed the full scale output voltage is reference voltage so full scale output voltage is according to the given problem 1.023 that is the reference voltage so 1.023 volts then substitute those values directly here then 1.023 by 2 power n 2 power 10 minus 1 
2 power 10 is 1 0 2 4 so 1 0 2 4 minus 1 is 1 0 2 3 then it gives me 1.0 2 3 by 1 0 2 3 this is equal to 1 by 1000 so 1 by 1000 is directly gives the 1 millivolt. So according to the given problem, the resolution of the above circuit is 1 millivolts. Now another type of converters are ADC, analog to digital converters. And the characteristics of ADC also gives the resolution. Resolution is nothing but step size. Just now we discussed the smallest possible change at output. Smallest possible change at output with respect to any changes at the input side. So that is called here resolution. Now in ADC, analog to digital converter, the input should be in analog signal. Now output is in digital format is there. So which converts the analog data into digital. So ADC, so resolution is step size. Now here step size is we have to write V range. V range is nothing but the maximum amplitude because here the available input should be in analog signal here. Analog signal is varies in between uh, minimum to maximum levels. So first we have to find out what is the range of the voltage here. So that is explained by V max minus V minimum by V max minus V minimum by. So number of combinations here 2 power n minus 1. So 2 power n minus 1 this gives the number of levels or the complete analog data is divided into number of digital combinations that is 2 power n minus 1. So here we have to take minus 1 because if the input voltage is 0 volts directly we have to write 0 0 0 combination. So that combinations we have to avoid so that's why 2 power n minus 1 is there because this 2 power n explains the total number of possible combinations here. So V max minus V minimum by 2 power n minus 1 this is now I'm writing like this V range by 2 power n minus 1. In digital to analog converters, in DAC converters, the resolution is VR. There VR is nothing but reference voltage. Now, in analog to digital converter, here VR is nothing but V range. The V range is maximum voltage minus minimum voltage by 2 power n minus 1. Suppose here I am assuming one combination. So, one simple problem. If the analog, let us take a, it is a 4 bit, 4 bit. ADC, 4 bit analog to digital converter, the input voltage is changing from minus 5 volts to plus 5 volts, minus 5 volts to plus 5 volts, then the resolution is, then the resolution is one simple example here, 4 bit analog to digital converter, input is changing from minus 5 volts to plus 5 volts. So now in this combination, this plus 5 volts explains the maximum, minus 5 explains the minimum. So finally, the resolution formula is maximum voltage minus minimum voltage. Minimum voltage is here, minus 5 volts. So 5 minus minus 5 by 2 power 4 minus 1. Because here number of bits are 4 bits converter is there. So now this gives the 10 by, this is 15, then directly the resolution of the above circuit or according to the given problem is 2 by 3. This is another simple procedure to find the resolution of ADC converters analog to digital converters. Yeah.